Hi Taurus, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of September. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have the alchemist, also known as the magician, the king of cups, and the king of pentacles. So we have some pretty strong figures here and things to think about. What strikes me whenever I see the alchemist or the magician, I think it's an exciting card. I think that it speaks to all of us from a soul perspective which is finding your path in life and what it is that makes you tick and that makes you happy and that makes you feel alive. And so with the magician we understand and the alchemist, we understand that we have to create that magic and that we have to create that path and take the steps to walk down that path. And so you may have wonderful ideas that maybe have been percolating for a long time and maybe you've set them off to the side because you feel that your regular life doesn't allow for that opportunity. And the alchemist here would be telling you to find a way to put things together, to mix it together. And if that means doing something that you love, say for example, you wanna become a photographer or become more serious with becoming a photographer, maybe you start to do things uh, in your spare time, or you start to develop your contacts, whatever it is, or you develop your skills, you're taking action toward the magic that you want to create in your life. And it's a very powerful message because with the alchemist, it's saying that you have the resources that you need. You have the tools at your disposal. What's important is what you choose to do with them. And it's your choice of how you make the time and prioritize and to, uh, I would say, to visualize your hopes. And so with this alchemist, a lot of magic, a lot of um, opportunities, but the opportunities are only going to come to fruition if you put the wheels in motion, you begin to take the steps, you walk down that path in order to make it happen. So I think it's for those who want to create, for those who want to be of service, whatever it is that turns you on, that that's the direction that you should start to move in. So with the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles, we have two masters of this suit, of each suit which has different characteristics and different strengths. With the King of Cups, we have someone who is so in command of emotions and healthy emotions. I would say having emotional intelligence um, of knowing the right balance, the, the right mix of emotions to be served or to be dealt with within a situation. So if I think about this on a practical level, uh, i just give you a, a, a small example, is that this has been my first week back to school distance learning. And there have been a lot of frustrations with technology and without getting it resolved. And it's, it made me very frustrated, made me very angry. And it's like, what do I do with all this anger and un feeling unsettled? You know, it's not helping anything. And so it's taken some time to just kind of back off and to not get overly emotional about things that I can't control. So for some of you, maybe that applies this week or it's something that you need to think about. But it's the king is a master of emotions, someone who is sensitive, aware, receptive, all of the words like empathy, compassionate, um, all wrapped into one, someone that you would feel very safe in talking to 
and getting your, you know, the emotional temperature of a situation. For some of you, again, maybe it's going to someone that is like this figure within your life, that you need someone to talk you down off the ledge. And I don't mean that in a, I just mean it in the, in the, the ledge of being anxious and nervous about a situation or highly emotional. So with the King of Cups, we're focused on our emotions and maybe we're involved in an, an emotional drama of others. So keep your mind on that of really what's best for you in your heart and where you are. Don't let other people's drama suck you down. And that's, the tr that's really something very, very true. So with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, again, he has figured out resources, money, property, being organized, being successful, all through the pursuit and the manner of being structured, organized, practical, very practical, common sense, groundedness. And so maybe the king is bringing us this week a remembering, uh, a, a remembrance to, to be practical, to have your feet on the ground. And particularly if we come into these emotional situations to kind of get back into a place where you can apply and where you can keep moving forward. This may be a week where maybe you want to pay attention to your budget, where maybe you want to make a budget or maybe have a spreadsheet or to be aware to touch base with someone who's helping. Um, it's a, it can be a sense of getting your financial house in order or maybe your to-do list of things that you need to do in order. I would also say that with respect to the alchemist in this reading, is that the King of Pentacles might be the encouragement to you to sit down at the table and if your desire again was to be a great photographer, is to list out or to break out or to put into writing to make it a realization for you of this is how I'm going to get to that place. This is, these are the things that I can do. Maybe there's a little research involved. So interesting cards of emotions, of trying to find just the right balance of emotions and to apply that knowledge, the emotional intelligence of whatever situation that you may be facing. And then the King of Pentacles, which is to uh, be organized, to be on top of things, to not let things go. And when you are in charge of your life like that, you know, you might have better luck. You may have, you know, you may be more receptive or in a position to be able to um, accept opportunities very organized, pragmatic behavior and success. This is someone who has reached the pinnacle of his career or his life and has acquired what he sees necessary and fit and probably brings happiness within his life. So just to take it just one step further, perhaps when we envision and visualize and we become the magicians or the alchemists within our own life when we create that magic we may be the kings we may find this place of being a king of pentacle we may find this place of having the mastery of emotions because we all know that it can be a real struggle to follow your heart to follow your path to find the right path so interesting cards Let's pull an oracle card and get a, another uh, indicator for the week. Fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Well, that's, this is a very loaded oracle card 
because there are lots of folks who live in fear. They lived in fear prior to what's happening with the coronavirus. And um, perhaps fear has, has stood in the way of pursuing your dreams as the magician. So fear is always a tough idea because we all have fears. It's natural. Some fears are more uh, obstructive than others. Some are more destructive. But when you, I think there's a great book, I can't remember the title, something about facing your fear and do it anyway. Um, you know, it takes time, but it's to be mindful that we do have these fears and to find a way to, to use it to your advantage. If you can, to make it into an asset, it's to understand, yeah, I have this fear about this. What can I do to resolve it? What can I do to make it less threatening or less hurtful? Again, or less um, where, where it gets in the way of me fulfilling my purpose and my passion and my ability to be the best person that I can be. Live in the energy of love. That's a simple idea, but a powerful idea, which is to try to find gratitude and love within your life. So I hope that you found something helpful here today. If you did, leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Like the video, and I will see you again. Take care and be well. Bye-bye.